All right, guys and gals, I'm gonna show you how to fix a leaking toilet. This toilet started leaking on me this morning from underneath the bottom. This is a very easy and cheap fix. I will show you how to do it. Any homeowner should know how to do this. But if you don't, just follow my steps. You should be all right. So all right, let's get folks, started. Here's the first step you wanna do. Get your tower bowl, put it underneath your connection on your supply line. Turn your valve off. Flush the commode and loosen supply line. You want that towel there or bowl to catch any remaining water that is in the supply line. Shouldn't be a whole lot. Just, just let it drain out. And as soon as it's done draining, we'll be on the next step. All right, here are the tools and supplies you're gonna to need to replace your wax ring on your toilet. I am gonna try this new wax ring by Danco, the Perfect Seal Wax Ring. Something new is not the original jumbo seal that you're usually used to. You're gonna need a scraper knife to remove all the old wax on the bottom of the toilet. Possibly a flathead screwdriver, a pair of channel locks, a crescent wrench. Um, I suggest using new hardware. It's up to you though. So let's get to the next step. All right, folks, after you get your main supply line drained and everything's dried up, take your crescent wrench and loosen your bowl to flames bolts. They shouldn't be that tight. Sometimes they, uh, they're a pain, but you can manipulate them where, yeah, that was going to be a pain. So I'm going to take my channel locks, put below this nut onto the bolt and use my crescent wrench, to loosen that nut off and I'll be right back. All right, get the nut loose. Take your nut off, you can throw it away. You can throw away that little washer, but you'll maintain this little white, I don't know what it's called, but it's important, so hang on to it. And just do the same thing on the other side. All right, folks, we're gonna pull the toilet from the flange now. The way I like to do it, Take the back of your tank cover off. This this heavy, but you're gonna be rocking the toilet back and forth to break the seal from the floor. Remember, down here at the bottom, that little bin, right in here. There you go. Right there's gonna be your water, so you just can't pick the toilet up and start flopping around everywhere. You make a mess on your on your floor. So I'm gonna go and get this toilet off the flange, and I'll be right back. All right, so the toilet's off the flange. You wanna take a scraper knife. Go ahead and start removing the old wax free material. Get as much as possible off that you can. That wax is super sticky and gooey and yeah, it's just nasty. You wanna get all the wax you, want, you can off the flange. And as much as possible off the bottom of the toilet. All right, folks, we're gonna pull the toilet from the flange now. The way I like to do it, take the back of your tank cover off. It's, it's heavy, but you're gonna be rocking the toilet back and forth to break the seal from the floor. Remember, down here at the bottom, that little bin, right in here, there you go. Right there's gonna be your water, so you just can't pick the toilet up and start flopping around everywhere. You make a mess on your, on your floor, so. I'm gonna go and get this toilet off the flange and I'll be right back. All right. This is what happens when you're not careful. You make a mess. All that the breeze you float is not poo, it's just parts and bits of the wax ring. All right, so the toilet's off the flange. You wanna take a scraper knife, and go ahead and start removing the old wax ring material. Get as much as possible off that you can. That wax is super, Sticky and gooey and yeah, it's just nasty. You wanna get all the wax you, want, you can off the flange. And as much as possible off the bottom of the toilet. All right, get the flange cleaned as much as possible. And the bottom of the toilet cleaned as much as possible. So now we're going to install the new wax ring.
All right, we got a new wax ring installed. The neat thing about this type of wax ring is you don't need the little plastic, I call them little plastic clips that help hold the toilet bolts upright so you can help align the toilet when you put it back on. It has these little rubber grommets that squeeze around the um, bolt itself. This wax ring direction says to use this extender if your flange sits below the floor, which mine sits above, so I don't need it. So let's, uh, let's get the toilet back on the floor. All right, got the toilet back down on the flange. What I like doing is just taking all my weight and pushing directly down. Maybe a little bit of wiggle left to right. Make sure that is sealed to that new wax ring. And over here on the side, you just want to start putting everything back together. This little what thing that I do not know the name for. New washer. And a new nut. And you'll do the same thing for the opposite side. All right, got the other nut going on. So what you want to do now is tighten both sides evenly back and forth and do not over tighten the nut. If you over tighten, you'll crack your porcelain toilet and you will have to buy a new one. And if I done that, my wife would not be happy. If, you're, if your wife ain't happy, you're not happy. All right, if you get the bolts tightened down, take your water supply line to your supply valve. Come on, you little booger. There we go. Make sure you get nice and snug, not too tight, but not too loose. Turn your water back on. Let your, let your tank fill. Flush a few times. Check for leaks. And if there ain't no leaks, you're done. Okay, the toilet's back down on the floor. No leaks. Everything seems to be working fine. A quick review. Turn your water supply off. Disconnect your supply line. Unbolt your toilet from the flange. Remove the toilet from remove the toilet from the flange. Clean all the old wax ring material off. Install your new hardware, your new wax ring. Put your toilet back on. Tighten down evenly. Reconnect your supply line. Turn your water back on. Check for leaks. And that should only take you about thirty to forty minutes if you have everything on hand. So. If you have any questions, comment. I'll do my best to answer them. And have a good day.